Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to perform in place upgrade of Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2022. An in place upgrade allows us to go from an older operating system to a newer one while keeping our settings server rules and data intact on the same virtual or physical hardware since windows server 2016 microsoft has been providing support for in place upgrades for stand alone installation as well as for windows servers with clusters installed on premises note that we can upgrade to a newer version of windows server by up to two versions at a time For example, Windows Server 2016 can be upgraded to Windows Server 2019 or Windows Server 2022. Before in place upgrade from Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2022, we need to make some preparations. Update the Windows Server 2016 operating system with the latest available patches before the upgrade to the newer operating system. All the hardware peripherals such as storage controllers and network cards should be updated with the latest firmware and drivers before starting the upgrade. It is important to ensure that the current running applications are compatible with the new operating system version. Make sure you have a valid product key and activation method. Keys and methods may vary depending on the distribution channel you received windows server media from for example a commercial licensing program retail or oem verify the operating system has enough free disk space to perform the in place upgrade we need at least 32 gb free disk space for a successful installation it is highly recommended to create a system state backup of the windows server 2016 before initiating the in place upgrade this is a very straight forward procedure but first you need to test it in your test environment i'm using the test lab created in oracle virtual box for the demonstration in this video we will be upgrading our existing windows server 2016 domain controller to windows server 2022 which is also known as in place upgrade click on tools and select active directory users and computers in our test lab we have single domain active directory forest named msaptivebcast.com we have two windows server 2016 domain controllers in our domain named msaptivebcast.com first We will perform the in place upgrade of our additional domain controller and if it is successful then we will move to the next one. For Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2022 upgrade we need to have latest active directory schema in our existing active directory forest. For that we have to use adprep/forestprep and adprep domain prep commands. Click on start menu Click on Windows PowerShell and again click on Windows PowerShell to open Windows PowerShell admin. We can run this PowerShell command to find the current Active Directory schema version. Let's press Enter key. We can see the object version is 87. The schema version is associated with Windows Server 2016. We need to upgrade the schema version to 88, which is for Windows Server 2022. So in short we need to prepare our existing active directory forest to support windows server 2022 as a domain controller in our ad forest we have to mount the windows server 2022 iso image to this virtual machine make sure that you have log on with an account that has sufficient credentials to run adprep.exe command on your domain controller You must be a member of the schema admins group, the enterprise admins group and the domain admins group of the domain that host the schema master which is by default the forest root domain. In our case, 
as we have a single Active Directory domain, we can run this command on any of our domain controller. Navigate to source directory of the Windows Server ISO image. In my case, it is D drive. In Windows Server 2022, adprep.exe is located in the support adprep folder of the installation DVD. Type command cd support slash adprep and press enter key. Type command adprep.exe slash forest prep and press enter key to prepare our existing AD forest to support Windows Server 2022 as a DC. Type C and press enter key to continue with the forest preparation. We can see the current version is 87 and this process will update the schema version to 88. We can confirm that forest wide information has been updated successfully using the command adprep slash forest prep. Now type command adprep.exe slash domain prep and press enter key to update the domain wide information. We need to run adprep slash forest prep once in the forest while adprep slash domain prep needs to be run on each domain where we are trying to upgrade from Windows Server 2016. adprep successfully updated the domain wide information. Let's again check the schema version. Now we can see the object version is 88. The schema version is associated with Windows Server 2022. That means we have successfully prepared our existing Active Directory forest to support Windows Server 2022 as a domain controller. Let's go back to Active Directory users and computer snapping. Here we can see we have two Windows Server 2016 DC in our domain. Double click on WS2K16-DC. Click on Operating System tab. Check the OS name and version information. Currently, OS name is Windows Server 2016 Standard Edition and version is 10.0 with build version 14393. Close all the windows that are currently opened. Now, let's begin the in-place upgrade of Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2022. Open File Explorer. Click on this PC. Double click on the D drive to start the Windows Server setup. Let me minimize this. The Windows Server setup will take few seconds to prompt us the window. In the Install Windows Server window, click on Change How Setup Downloads Updates. Make sure you have selected Download Updates, Drivers and Optional Features option, which is recommended. Click Next to continue. Currently, the setup is checking for the latest updates and patches from Microsoft Update site. We have to wait for a few seconds to complete the process. In the next step, Windows Server Setup will check our PC for in-place upgrade. It is checking whether this installation is supported for in-place upgrade or not. Again, this will take few seconds to complete the checking. On Product Key page, we have to enter the Product Key for Windows Server 2022 Standard or Data Center Edition. Let me specify the Product Key for Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition. After entering the Product Key, click Next to continue. Select the addition of Windows Server 2022. I'm going with Windows Server 2022 standard desktop experience version for full GUI experience. Select the addition as per your requirement and then click on next. Read the applicable notices and license terms and then click accept to continue. If you don't choose the right version, the first option will be not available. Select Next to continue. After we click Next, it will start downloading the latest monthly cumulative update and servicing stake updates. The Windows update process took around 25 minutes to complete. Now it is making sure that our PC has sufficient disk space. After Windows Server Setup analyze our device, 
it will prompt us to proceed with our in place upgrade by selecting install click on install button to start in place upgrade of windows server 2016 to windows server 2022 in the background the process will first extract the binaries to hidden folder on the c drive once extracted the server will restart automatically and server upgrade process will start this process might take some time depending upon the size of our windows server 2016 a pc is about to restart automatically The in place upgrade process has been completed successfully. Press control alt delete key combination to unlock the server. Type the domain administrator username and password and press enter key to log into our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Upon login, the server manager dashboard will open automatically. Click on tools and select active directory users and computers. Click on Domain Controllers OU and double click on WS2016-DC. Click on Operating System tab. Check the OS name and version information. OS name is now Windows Server 2022 Standard Edition with version 10.0 and build version 2034.8. We just ran an in-place upgrade of Domain Controller. running on windows server 2016 and upgraded it to windows server 2022 in the next step check for the latest updates and if available any then download and install it on this windows server 2022 using the same steps we can now perform an in place upgrade of our second windows server 2016 domain controller this time We don't have to run adprep.exe as that step is already completed. Click on okay and let's go back to server manager dashboard. Click on local server and check the operating system version. It is Microsoft Windows Server 2022 standard edition. Okay, that's all for this video on how to perform in place upgrade of Windows Server 2016 domain controller. To Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.